I'm Rodney, and I'm with Dawn Equipment Company, and I'm here to talk about some of our hydraulic systems today. Uh, I guess the first thing I'll talk about is the downforce actuator here. Uh, it is a integrated hydraulic cylinder and accumulator, and what we can do is we can basically set it into, for right now, the John Deere and the Kinsey Cradles directly in. Uh, we do have to have a slight modification to the Kinsey Cradle. Uh, but both of them will, at least for the John Deere for right now, it slides directly in there. It is available through Ag Leader as well, uh, integrated with their Integra monitor. Um, it, we do also have a couple of systems of control for ourselves. One is uh, a manual control, and the other is using the Foresight device, which I'll discuss here in just a minute, and uh, as I said before, uh, the Ag Leader system. Second thing I want to point out here is the hydraulic row cleaner. Um, this is an all alloy steel for the most part uh, with some aluminum casting, uh, construction row cleaner. What we have here are drop forged arms that come down here to uh, a frog that holds these two drop forged trash wheels. Uh, Timken roller bearings in them, uh, just like our standard trash wheels, regreasable. Uh, then we have this hydraulic cylinder here. It's got spring up, hydraulic down. And what that allows it to do is just basically retract from the ground when you don't have any pressure on the system. Okay, uh, it is a trailing arm row cleaner. So well, one of the things that we can do is we can isolate, uh, you know, all this uh, pressure that we're seeing from the ground into the toolbar and not deliver it into the row unit. And the net effect is not jarring the seed meter, uh, as we see when we have a row unit mounted row cleaner, and not driving the V opener slightly out of the ground. Uh, so both of these things can be run, uh, as I said, either manually or with the uh, new, what we call, Foresight device. Um, Foresight is a uh, anticipating device. Uh, what it's doing is it's setting out in front of the row unit, and we have these two wheels. One is just a rubber wheel, the other is a coulter. Now, what happens is we have two airbags that are at baseline pressure and they're delivering the same type of force into the ground. But the rubber wheel is going to have the same type of effect that a rubber gauge wheel on the planter is going to have. And so it's going to have some type of correlation mathematically, really, as it goes to the field. The same way with this coulter blade, it does behave slightly like the V-opener, and, and, and good enough where we can do some math on it and roughly approximate what's going to take to go into the ground with the V-opener blade. And so what happens is we see a change in difference in depth between these two rolling objects. We have a difference in these linear position sensors. And we feed that signal into a PLC back here. A computer, a small computer, it's very rugged. You know, it can take a lot of the elements, it can take, you know, fluids uh, from the implement. Um, and what we do is we do a little math on it and we directly translate that into what is going to be required for the downforce actuator and for the row cleaner. Now I'll show just a brief demonstration. Um, right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show what happens to the row cleaner as I move this up and down through traffic. So this thing's right now that the ground is very hard. As we move it up, it responds with a different pressure. And it's an important thing to note about GFX row cleaner, and that we're not really changing depth on this row cleaner. What we're really changing is the pressure, the way it engages the ground. The hydraulic cylinder, throughout its stroke of travel, the pressure changes very minimally. And so, once we engage the ground, the row cleaner is allowed to float around that pressure, rather than trying to set a depth, which is very irregular, obviously, in the field. So that is our uh, hydraulic systems, the Foresight device. Thanks for taking a look at us.